What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back. I'm your host, Industry 1, and of course, we've got more Resident Evil Village. It is finally time to collect the Giant's Chalice. So this video is going to pertain to doing the rest of the side content that you have moving forward, as well as getting into the factory, and then the next video will be the entirety of uh, the factory. So all I can say is uh, there's going to be a little bit of fighting, obviously, in this video, but most of it is just to grab as much money uh, that we can grab, which we're going to be doing by heading to the side area uh, that's up ahead. So enjoy the rest of the video, and uh, let's do it. What?
So this puzzle is not too difficult to figure out. You need to obviously shoot. You can only shoot. You can't scoot this one. You're going to have to actually shoot it. Do the left side first so you can grab the loot. When you do the right side, you're going to uh, have an enemy that comes out. These, This is a enemy that will always just continually come out because it's part of the actual puzzle. So we're going to do the right side. Now, the trick to doing this is to catch him on fire. But it can be difficult to do sometimes, obviously, because you have physics in the game, so you have to really do it at the correct time. But really, essentially, all you need to do is catch him on fire. Once you catch him on fire, then you're going to need to go into the next room. And then, not the room ahead of us, but the one to the left. And then when you go in there, you need to get him as close to the fire as possible so that he lights it, and then he will unlock the next uh, treasure. So, it's pretty simple. It's not too difficult to figure out. And uh, um, hope this helped you. Seeking something in particular? Thank you. Now to cook! Here it is. Please, join me. Not a bad dish. Pay me no mind. It's sure to be a good meal. Welcome, Ethan.
Splendid. Do you know it's worth? This is all an investment, even. A good deal, if I say so myself. Now we're going to be turning in the giant's chalice. Uh, this is what you need to do in order to get to the factory. Factory is... What's going on? Definitely one of the parts that uh, feels like the end kind of challenge of a Resident Evil game, you know. Uh, where it kind of feels different. It's definitely more action-oriented if you prefer that way. It can be scary for sure, but definitely is it's at a different pace than uh, what we've been doing so far. Don't worry about the kid, Ethan. It'll be fine. Ha! Just get your ass across the bridge. Ah! Ethan Winters. Welcome. I didn't think you'd make it past Daughter Moreau, but I suppose you survived worse back in America, hmm? I like you. I'd like to speak to you about Rose and Miranda. Oh, come on in. Don't worry. It's not a trap. What are you planning? Let me guess. You're thinking, take me out like the others, and then he gets to go and save Rose, right? I'm healing my daughter. Look, you, you, you got this all wrong. Demental. Shut your fucking hole! I'm sorry about that. Take a seat. Listen, Ethan, you're being played. What are you talking about? You think this is a game? I said sit! <sighs> Lady, supersized bitch. Ugly ass psycho doll. An emeronic freak. Don't you get it? It's a test. 
to see if you're strong enough to be a part of Miranda's family. I don't want to be a part of Miranda's family. Neither did I, but here we are! And I'm next in line, right? Kill me, move up the chain, well fuck that! I don't give a damn about your personal issues. I just want to fix my daughter. <laughs> so do I. Do you have any idea how powerful a kid is? Even Miranda's scared of her. Last time, you freak! I swear to God! You and me, then. Together, we can go save Rose, and we can use her to grind Miranda into paste. My daughter is not a weapon. Fuck you! <laughs> Last chance. You don't want to find out what's in that hole. I'll take my chances. You're a few. This place is messed up. I've got to get upstairs. All right, so now at this point, uh, this was actually a room that I totally forgot to go in on my original Let's Play. I didn't even see the room. That's how dark it was on my screen. I didn't even see the door. But uh, this is where, you know, you can turn the ball in if you want to do that puzzle or whatever. But uh, this is also going to be where the Duke is. Welcome, welcome. You're sure to find something new. So everything well, we've done so far, you can turn in the rest of your stuff. We're going to have just about a million... Uh, at this point, if you've been doing everything that I have been doing, um, one of the biggest things is 
we're going to start upgrading our magnum. I just haven't been doing any of it yet, um, but we're going to be doing that in the next ah. video. Uh, we're going to be showing the entirety of I've the factory some level, new items for you, Mr. including the uh, the boss fight that happens at the very, very end. So I think the next video is going to be a pretty long one. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. Other than that, thank you again so much for watching. It's been my pleasure to bring this to you, um, and I really do hope you guys are enjoying. I would say there's about maybe two or three videos left uh, for the walkthrough, and then we'll be finished. And then at some point, I'm thinking about doing a stream for a speed run. Uh, so hopefully you guys will tune in for that as well. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one as we continue to move forward for Resident Evil Village. Ah, so you noticed that. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications and will do them for a small fee. Little and often fills the purse, as they say. I look forward to seeing the fruits of your exploration. <laughs>